Okay, so this is a very quick video just because I've been using Visual Studio Code a little bit differently than usual and just because I can. So usually I use Visual Studio Code on full screen or ADIDE for that matter, I use the IDE on full screen. I usually have my laptop and my second monitor, but I've been taking a web development course. So I usually have the video on my laptop and here on my monitor, I have the IDE on one half and the browser on the other half. So I can take a look at what exactly I am doing. In any case, Visual Studio Code by default has all of these panes, all of this stuff in the way of us actually taking a look at the code. So the actual code window can be a little bit too small. So we're going to take a look at three very quick things that we can do to make more space, which is something that I barely just learned for some reason, but in case you didn't know, it is very easy to start, for example, hiding these pane, these tabs to the left by navigating over to the view menu, selecting appearance, which is by the way, the menu where we're going to find the three tips for this video. And we, and we can select to show activity bar and disable that. So there is no longer an activity bar. So that is great. The other thing that we can hide from the same view and appearance window is the sidebar, which you will notice has a very handy shortcut. So all you have to do is here on your keyboard type command B and it will show and hide accordingly. So it's a very quick shortcut that we have available, something that we do not have for the tabs on the left. The other option that we also have is to show the panel or hide the panel. And there is also a shortcut which we can access through command J. So it is actually quite handy for us to use command B to hide the panel, to hide the sidebar and command G to hide the panel. Finally, something that I, for some reason, barely noticed as I was taking the course is that you can actually have a couple of different windows sections in the terminal. So you can actually navigate over to view and show the terminal in the case of Mac OS. Actually, this is for Mac OS. If you're on windows, that is not command. It is control. In any case, in here, I have control even on Mac and the apostrophe you will see the corresponding shortcut if you're on Windows as well. But once the terminal is being displayed, you know how you can normally create new instances of the terminal through this plus icon, and you will kind of be able to switch through them through this uh, small menu in here. But it turns out apparently that you can have more and more windows in here using this icon, the split terminal icon, apparently. So for example, right now that I am doing some web development, I can have the terminal uh, creating, uh, running the development version of the web application so I can display it through the local host. And I also have some Git controls in here and I can have more and more splits of the terminal without having to jump over to different instances of the terminal. So there you have it, three very quick tips to make more space here on Visual Studio Code. Again, command J will be able to hide this pane. Command B will be able to hide and display the sidebar. You can also navigate over to view, select appearance and select to not show the activity bar, as well as that extra tip to have many different terminal split screens thing is in the pane. So that's it. Very quick video. I'm not sure if I will see you later because I don't usually post videos in this channel, but the microphone is quite high, quite wide. Ah, uh, this sucks. Let's just, let's just go ahead and edit this video.